Female role models are important in society, they are strong providers of influence and um, women see themselves by being able to identify with these individuals, to emulate them, as well as the way that men perceive women. We've had, staying on the science theme, great scientists, Marie Curie looking at uh, discovering different radioactive isotopes and her work in, in cancer. Um, you know, I don't know if you've seen the movie Hidden Figures with uh, yeah. Catherine mm -hmm. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Again, mind-blowing in terms mm -hmm. of how women were relegated to the back benches, but being a mathematician, well, yeah. NASA. And if I look at across political leadership uh, on the continent, Ellen Sirleaf Johnson, Joyce Banda, Amina Garib Fakim, Pumzile Nagonuka, all fantastic women. How do you see the role of female leadership, whether it's in the political space, business sector, education? It's very critical, especially with us in the context of South Africa, more important in the context of the continent. I think we're still lacking behind, I think, because if you are to look at, you quoted former presidents and deputy president, but you look now, currently, we do not have... Scarce. Yeah. And, and that's a, a, a threat to our continent and our nation in terms of going forward. Because you need young girls to know that, uh, like that young girl who wrote to the president and asked, can, young, can girls become presidents? We need, they need to see them, not ask about it. They are asking because they don't see uh, female presidents. That's why the children will end up asking. That's for me, was, was a, a telling story. It was something that said, hey, look at how you now, your children, are perceiving it. Do we have role models? I do believe we do have. We've got a, quite a number of them. The problem is that sometimes, because I think it's how we socialized. We're not more aggressive about pursuing and marketing women. I'll say marketing because it's broadly. Whether you go into business sector, you look for women, they are there. I mean, recently I was studying at, at, um, at Harvard. I was doing my leadership program. And then one of the case studies was about a leader in the, in the, in the, at NetBank. I mean, a female. And I'm saying, hell, I had to come into Harvard to, to read her. about Johnson. She's Johnson as well, to read about Johnson. Um, but how do we make sure that we are able to have platforms? Beyond just because we do it very well in August, we expose all these women, but after August, we, we go back to the normal. Yeah, there's, how, a, there's another 11 months of the year. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we make sure that annually we celebrate? Because if we don't, push it consciously. I say it in my portfolio. My team know both the entities, the boards. I tell them we have to be conscious about transformation. It doesn't happen automatically. Now, that's why on the boards, for example, we were appointing boards. I went and looked for women who were below 30 to be on the boards. Um, as a conscious decision to say, and I said to the chairperson of the board that, look, don't expect much from them because it's their first time sitting in a board and building the next layer of leadership. In the next term, when they're above 30, then they will be matured to know what happens in the board. There will be now, now leaders of these boards, but you can't expect them to come in and know how to be a chairperson of the board when they've never sat in a board. Or you want them to grow and say they must have experience first when they're going to get it if you don't give it to them. So that's one of the things that we have to do across the board. We're sitting with institutions in JC listed companies. We're still below 10%. We had, Maria Ramos has resigned. We regressed because of just one resignation. Because there's not too many. Now, does it say that there's no women who have capacity in this country? I don't think so. They are there. But they are put in the corner, like previously, they're just not in the kitchen, they but they are the put somewhere in the corner of, of the boardroom. So one of the things that we have to do and drive consciously is to pull them out of these corners and take a conscious decision to say, we are going to affirm you, we are going to celebrate you. Those who are doing well, we celebrate them. Those who are sitting in the corner, we say, we're going to take you. Those who need mentorship, we need to support them. 
And yeah, I think that everything you're doing there is is completely right. Uh, it's it's bringing people on, it's grooming, it's lifting up, and it's helping them blossom. Which women have been role models for you? I I I look up to Mama Winnie a lot. I think she, she yeah, she, quite a lot of things, I think. Her resilient character, fiercely, not easily intimidated, um, stands her ground, stands for the truth. Doesn't matter who you are, she will say what she feels. So that's the person I think I've looked up to for years just her character and the last thing that I admire about her is despite everything that she's been through she still she was able to stand tall and she made sure that she looked beautiful she looked after herself so it's a very rare combination um, that sometimes people think that when you are a woman um, you've got to be too vulnerable show your weaknesses in order to look pretty or you mustn't you know she had a rare combination, I don't know how to describe it, you know, a rare combination that if in a normal environment somebody would have called her a tomboy, but in appearance she looked everything a perfect woman. She, she worked in the trenches? Yes. So she was hands-on, mm -hmm. um, tremendous conviction, yes. and, and that was uh, strength to, to be admired. Yeah. We're coming towards the end of the show, so what I'd like to ask you now is, in your opinion, what have been some of the, the factors to your success? Humility, I, and, and, and respect. Um, I believe that you need to be humble as a person because your achievement is not about whether it's, it's brilliance and all that. It's because there are people who have supported you. It might, it, might, it might have been your, in other areas, your strength, but more than 60% is because there would have people who helped for you to be where you are. And that's what always, but as well to say, where you are, somebody else could have been there. So be humble enough to appreciate that it's an opportunity to give it and grab it with two, both hands and make use it to the optimum. Respect anyone, it doesn't matter who they are, which position they are holding. Give them respect and just be, a, and treat them like human beings, who they are. Uh, because in life, we need each other. It's not about positions, it's about just Ubuntu. Treat the next person the way you want to be treated. Those are good values that have clearly held you in instead. And finally, as we close the conversation, could you please use this platform to share a, a few words of wisdom, particularly as we're in Freedom Month, to young ladies that are listening to us on the continent? Um, the message I have for young women is to say, believe in yourself, because you can be the best that you want to be. But you can never do that out of ignorance. Reading and mastering the concept and mastering the content of what you do gives you authority in what you are doing in order for you to earn respect because you don't deserve respect, we earn respect.